Good morning. God bless. May this message find you in the best of spirits, hopeful, and just constantly relying on God. I'm not perfect, but God knows that already. When you truly rely on God and stop worrying, let him take the burdens off your shoulders and lay it at his feet. We have to trust our Father. I notice when I pull back from God, and I don't do it intentionally, but I do do it. My flesh allows me to do it sometime, and I feel a sense of shame. I feel guilty. I don't feel right in my spirit. I feel like I let him down, and my spirit is unrestful. We have to constantly discipline ourselves to stay on fire for the Lord because things of the world would distract you. And because our flesh, because of flesh and worldly things, we can, it can sometimes make us preoccupied and therefore we put our Heavenly Father on the back burner. But the enemy won't win. We can't let him win. And he can't control us. Psalms 46, 5, God is within her. She will not fall. Just because you make mistakes and you go through things in life and you feel like, oh, wow, I was doing so good and I fell off or, you know, I got distracted for a moment. I got caught up in this. I got caught up in that. God knows your heart. And that's what you have to believe. You can't condemn yourself when you walk with God and it seems like you you, you take five step for five step forwards and ten steps back. That's a given. Your flesh is going to play a part in that. You're going to go through things. You're going to say things. You're going to do things. You're going to act upon things that you know is not of God. But we are human. And as long as you're here down on this earth, I say that over and over again. And as long as you have flesh, you are going to sin. You're going to make bad choices sometimes. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to say things that you're going to regret sometimes. You're going to act upon things, I'll say it again, that you know you shouldn't act upon or because you get caught up in a feeling or a moment. You know what? That lets you know that you are human. And no matter how you try, you will never be perfect as long as you're here on earth. So the only thing you can do is when you fall, you get yourself up, dust yourself off, and you move, stare forward on a straight and narrow with God, and you ask him to forgive you. And if you believe in God and you don't listen to hearsayers and the little pecking ones that's going to tell you, oh, you messed up, you can't come from this. You're not God, you can't judge. And let he that has cast, the, let he, when you cast that stone, remember, right? That when you're shunning somebody else and you're knocking them down for their mishaps and their um, mistakes that they make in life, remember, we all sin. We all have fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. Do not let anyone put you in a place because of your wrongdoings and because of your mistakes. You ask God to forgive you. You repent from it. You mean it wholeheartedly and you start again. Remember, God holds us in our darkest hour. He's with us at our lowest part of our life. But one thing about him, he will not point fingers. And he will not point fingers at you. And he will not talk about you with what you went through and endured. He will lift you up. Stay focused on him. He will shelter you. People will show you mishaps and faults that you made, they will bring it to your attention. But he will wipe your slate clean if you repent and you go to him with a clean heart.